Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's TexasFootball.com here at the Alamo Dome, here at the CountryMeets.com Road Tour, and here with the Class 4A Division II State Semifinal Champion Head Coach Doug Warren of the Wimberley Texans. Coach, first off, uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, now, uh, I, I won't call you out on, on the air, but, I mean, you know, what, what little hair you had left, is, is it still hanging on? I mean, that, that was one of those games that you, you – it probably ages you a little bit because it was just a back and forth roller coaster, wasn't it? You're right. You're right. I mean, but but you know, we knew we knew that it was that going to take that type of effort and going to be that type of game. I mean, when you get to this point and four only four teams left, everybody's dang good, and and uh, you know, it just just the ebb and flow of that. You know, I think my wife's probably aged a few years in there, but you know, uh, and I probably did myself. But heck, man, you just can't say enough about our kids. You know, you're down 30 to 18 at halftime, and it feels like Quero's got control of the game. That they they kind of had their way with your defense a little bit, and it seems like in the second half it was just a complete turnaround of things. Uh, overall, what was the message to your guys at halftime, and were there any adjustments you guys made, or was it just more a matter of just executing what you guys do a little bit better? Yeah, you know, the adjustments was number one, we got to execute better, but number two, uh, we needed uh, 25 to get more touches. You know, um, and then and then just really settle in. We knew that you know games like this gonna take every ounce of effort that you got, and you're gonna have to play four quarters. And I thought the, the first time we got the ball in the second half and drove down and punched it in really changed the, the tone of the football game because we did it on the ground for the most part, uh, and, and that just kind of flipped the script, like you said. You mentioned Johnny getting going in the running game. I thought your defensive line also was outstanding in the second half. Really got after their quarterback and kind of disrupted what they like to do offensively. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, I mean, I, I thought your defensive line was the key. What can you say about those guys and their performance today? Oh, just they're just relentless. You know, they we've we've hung our hat on them all year long. You know, we talk about code red defense. These kids take a lot of pride in that. You know, and 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 when it mattered the most, those guys were making plays and like you said, getting pressure on their quarterback and and kind of getting him out of his rhythm. All right, now the bus ride home is going to be a lot of fun. It always is, but uh, yeah. you still got one more next week, so you, you're going to pop on the Carthage Glen Rose game and, and when you get to the field house and got just to. Check that out, because I mean, you got to be excited. I mean, you know, you're 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 playing for a state title next week. Oh, we'll definitely pop it on and see, you know, uh, who who's going to win that game. Both both great teams out there, uh, you know, and, and we're there, and we don't really care who we're going to play. We just we'll just welcome the other one into it. You know, final two that are standing, and and it's just a, a great feeling. Final question for you, Coach. Uh, you guys have been you, you guys have been to state before for your coaching. You know, the kids haven't, obviously. These maybe they were fresh, but when you guys work, when you guys go, go when when you guys uh, because you guys have been there before, how much easier does that make things in your coaching staff? Just knowing kind of how things go and scheduling your week out and dealing with all the media attention that's going to happen this week. How much you know you have experience that's got to make the week go a lot easier, isn't it? It does. Once you once you've been there and you know the expectations, everything extra that you have to do out of there. And it makes it easier, especially on your on your coaches, you know. So we'll we'll try to let them hunker down and and figure out a plan to, to you know see if we can win a ball game, and and a couple of us will handle that other stuff, and and uh, you know, and then we'll get rolling. Coach, congratulations on the win. We'll see you next week at AT&T Stadium. Appreciate it very much. Appreciate it. Thank Great you. job. Great ball game. Thank you.